Hello, and welcome to The Daily Message. I'm Sally Messner, Director of Worship and Music at Holy Cross, and today is Friday, October 9th. This week we've been talking a little bit about Psalm 23. Uh, Pastor Scott read a different translation of it than you might be used to or might remember um, on Wednesday in The Daily Message, and it will be part of our liturgy this Sunday in worship. Um, for the prelude this Sunday, you'll hear the Elm Ensemble um, a choir singing Bobby McFerrin's setting of Psalm 23, and he wrote a paraphrase even, um, and part of the title of his Psalm 23 is dedicated to my mother. And in his uh, paraphrase, he explores the imagery of God as mother um, and the mothering qualities, and, and that's nothing new to, um, to the Bible or to Christians, or to Jews even. Um, there are lots of images in the Bible um, and in the Psalms of um, God with motherly qualities. So I'd like to read to you, read for you, the words to that Psalm that you'll hear on Sunday. Just another paraphrase, another version of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I have all I need. She makes me lie down in green meadows. Beside the still waters, she will lead. She restores my soul. She rights my wrongs. She leads me in a path of good things and fills my heart with songs. Even though I walk through a dark and dreary land, there is nothing that can shake me. She has said she won't forsake me. I'm in her hand. She sets a table before me in the presence of my foes. She anoints my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely, surely goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life. And I will live in her house forever, forever and ever. Glory be to our mother and daughter and to the holy of holies as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. I'm glad that Psalm 23 has come up in the lectionary for this month. Um, I think it's hard to remember comfort and remember peace and that God is with us and to be patient and to wait for that. Um, so I hope that hearing those words and singing it and hearing it again on Sunday will bring some comfort to us. And um, with that comfort, I hope that we can all remember to practice patience, patience with each other, patience with our families, patience with our friends, um, patience with our government, and patience with God. Sometimes it's hard for us to remember to trust fully in God and to rely on God and to have patience and wait for God to fulfill promises made to us. I'd like us to sing now, Mothering God Who Gave Me Birth. This will be one of our hymns on Sunday. We sang it in a previous daily message, um, probably a couple of months ago. And um, today, instead of just singing it myself, I'm going to play the file, the audio track that you'll hear on Sunday so you can hear the other choir members with me. This is hymn number 735 in ELW.
And now let us pray. Almighty God, sometimes the way ahead seems so clear, but at other times the way seems shrouded with uncertainty and the road ahead seems to be hidden in the questioning shadows. Lord, you are the God of peace and love in whom I place my trust. Give me a peaceful and patient heart that rests in you and a loving spirit that pours your love to others. Lord, you are the God of comfort and rest in whom I put my hope. Give me a heart that abides in you so that your comfort may stream through me to others who need comfort and strength. Lord, you are the God of hope and joy in whom I stand secure. Give me a spirit of devotion that worships only you so that I may be a worthy witness that points to Jesus. For in him is all peace and love and comfort and rest and hope and joy. I place my trust in you, O Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus is risen, the tomb is empty. Be smart, stay safe, and I'll see you on Sunday.